Hey, hi, in this video, we will see how to perform patch management of Windows servers with using Azure Update Manager. In this video, I will explain you and give you a demo about how you can elevate Azure Update Manager where I will show you like how to configure the enterprise standard maintenance window configuration, which will scope your machines dynamically by using the tag references. And also I will help you to understand how you to schedule the the respective you know uh, maintenance configurations under azure update manager so here the main aim of this video is to enable or basically maintain an automated patch management system with using azure update manager so without being delayed let me take you to the my azure subscriptions this is my azure portal where i have a subscription here so within this subscription i will go to the uh, you know the update manager remember that Update Manager is a global service in the Azure options, right? So this is the single pane of, uh, you know, the capability through which you can manage the patch of all your machines. In this video, we are focusing only on Windows machines. So as I said, if you go to this, uh, you know, this particular Azure, Azure Update Manager page. So in the left hand side, you have the manage, you have the manage Azure stack, monitoring options and all. So in this one, we have to go to the machines. And after that, if you see in the right hand side, there is a maintenance configuration. You're going to click on that maintenance configurations. Remember that maintenance configuration is as the name says, this is basically a definition, you know, explaining how you would manage the patching of your machines that is reporting to the Azure Update Manager, right? So here first you need to create a maintenance configuration, which is basically as the name says, this is something like, you know, template that you create and that would be used for patch management according to the schedule, according to the targeted resources. So here I'm going to choose the subscription that is default subscription that I have here. And I'm going to create a, a demo RG here. So let me call it as something like patch RG. And then within this, you know, we're going to create a maintenance configuration with this name. I'm going to keep it region Southeast, you know, Southeast India. South India basically we, let's create a virtual machine in the region as well. Remember that. So you need a maintenance window per region. So if you have a resources uh, of virtual machines belonging to a particular region, say like US West, East US like that, you need to maintain the one maintenance configuration particular to that region only. It's like region, like maintenance window like that. So basically, I know we're going to choose the Southeast, uh, South India, for example, and in the maintenance scope, we're going to go to the guest under bracket in the, in the sense, in the bracket, we have Azure VM, Arc enabled VMs or servers. So this is the maintenance scope, which will target to the Azure virtual machines. So in the reboot settings, so I will just will choose the reboot if required. Schedule is an option where you're going to choose like, you know, how frequently this maintenance window has to run. Right, so here I will say like, you know, this schedule has to start from today and it has to, um, you know, so it has to start from 50 minutes after, after this particular schedule configuration. Remember that when you create a maintenance configuration for the first time, the maintenance window needs minimum 50 minutes of time so that it can start the cycle. Right, so for that case, I'm going to add 20 minutes to this particular, uh, you know, the time. So we're going to give 20, uh, 44 here. So we're going to give 20, 44 PM here. And in the, in the, you know, the, the time zone, we're going to use India time zone. So maintenance window is nothing, but you know, this is kind of a, a duration up to which this maintenance configuration can run. What does that mean is basically, this is a time duration where, you know, the Azure update can try to install the patches on your windows machine. Right. And the repeat is nothing but you know how frequently this maintenance configuration run has to be taken place or should take place. That is repeat, repeated configuration. Okay. And rest all, we're going to keep it default and I'm going to save this option. And that is what our schedule configuration is all about. I'm going to click on, on resources. So resources here, you know, so if you have the ready resources or if you have a list of concrete list of resources, you can use this option by clicking on this add. Right, so something like this you can always do. Right, and uh, you know, so here right now I have not created any virtual machine. That's the reason it is not showing here. But uh, you know, so but you know, in your case, uh, if you already have a virtual machine, 
those machines can be listed here right so i'm going to go back to the uh, that configuration again we are not using this resource option but we are using dynamic resource scope so dynamic scope is you can click on that add dynamic and here you need to choose the subscription list where you can keep this uh, maintenance configuration scope so this is my uh, subscription scope by the way and after that filter by you can click on select and this is where you're going to get a further deep down you know scoping the scoping a uh, deep down which basically yeah so here you can choose the resource group that is patch resource group by the way you're going to create a virtual machine in that or by default let me select all a uh, resource type let me select only virtual machines because we are scoping it that and the region is i'm going to select like south india or for now let me select all because anyways i'm going to create a virtual machine in the in the south india region only so or else let's uh, to be specific let's select the south india so i'm going to select the south india so this is the region i have selected in the os type you're going to choose the windows because this is windows maintenance window and this is a very important configuration so here so here you know so basically dynamic scope always uses these many filtering criteria and scope the machines which falls under these criteria so in that one we also elevate um, you know the tag so let's keep a tag called uh, key called app and the name equal to fraud right uh, so what does that mean is basically any machine which has the tag with a key called app and value equal to prod that can be scoped that's what this definition tells about right now we don't have any machines that's the reason it is not getting listed here which is fine we're going to click on save so by this we have defined our dynamic scope we go to the next option that is update option so in this one so this is nothing but you know this is a space where you will choose the what type of updates you want to apply on your machines so here you can always choose the include update classifications first one we don't choose the first one because this is not a linux maintenance configuration this is windows for now i'm going to choose all the possible updates classifications of the windows for now this is a demo but in your case you can choose specific one in the the other two options that is include kbs and exclude kbs are nothing but you know further if you want to narrow down the update classified that you can always use it here right or basically if you want to specifically install the particular kb ids that you can do it here or you want to install everything except certain KB IDs that in that case you can use exclude KB IDs like that. Next one we go to the go to the event. So I'm not using any events for now. I'm gonna uh, you know keep it default. So basically events is used for any kind of operations that you need to do prior to the patching operations or post to the patching operations. This is something is the place where you can configure and and you know manage those configurations. Like that yeah we go to the tags and go to the review so i'm not adding any tags so i skipped it we are directly here to the review and create so i'm going to click on a create which will create a maintenance configurations to manage the patching for my system basically this is a classical or basically an enterprise standard windows patching configuration uh, definition that you can always use it now one side we are done with in the other side we will go and create a virtual machine dynamically so here i will go to the vm and here i'm going to create a dummy machines for this demo so i'm going to click on azure machine so here i will tell you there is a one unique thing you need to maintain that is something i'm going to show you here in the configurations so let me give the name as something like you know um, windows uh, uh, vm patch so this is my machine name I need to give the proper name so that's the reason it is complaining so let's keep it to south india because we have chosen the uh, maintenance configuration in the south india only and then let's resolve option i'm going to keep it default and then in the image we're going to choose the you know the first image that is windows 2012 data center and i'm going to use this uh, you know the 1 gb machine for now because this is my demo right so in the here i'm going to use my um, you know the my username called demo user password let me keep it the password like my super secret password here right and then yeah so this is what i'm going to do it right away so that is my super secret password by the way rest all configuration i'm going to keep it default let me go to the disk i'm not going to change anything in the disk even i'm not going to change anything in the in the networking because by default it is setting a networking configurations for me to spin up this machine 
Now let me go to the next configuration that is management where I wanted to tell you some tips here. So here in the guest updates, if you see here, so basically if you, if this option is been selected, what does that mean is basically you are telling that, you know, Hey, update manager, try to manage the, um, you know, the patch management on my system automatically, but you know, some cases that is not a standard for all enterprise grade. So that's the reason we always need to unselect this so that you can use the uh, user defined uh, maintenance windows to patch your machines. So this is one configuration you need to always make sure to uncheck it. Right. And uh, rest all, so if you see, right, so rest all option becomes by default, you know, not available. Let's go to the monitoring. I'm going to not do anything on the monitoring and rest all advanced also. I don't do anything review and create. All right. So I'm going to click on create basically um, if all validation goes green. Right. So um, I'm going to create a virtual machine. It will take certain time. So we will go on a pause for until that and we will come back. Now, as you see that virtual machine is running, which is created. So here, make sure that you add a tag, whatever we have added in the, in the dynamic scope. So if I go to the, to the maintenance configuration in the dynamic scope, we have given that, uh, you know, the scope, any machine, which has the tag like app equal to prod. So let's add that tag here on this machine. So that, you know, so this machine gets automatically scoped because, you know, it qualifies the conditions like it should be from this particular subscription, particular region, particular, uh, you know, RG, then, um, then, you know, with a certain tag, right? So all these criteria gets qualified and then, you know, it automatically gets scoped to this particular maintenance window configuration. Okay. So now I will go back to the, uh, you know, I will go back to the Azure update manager. And if I go to the virtual machine so if you see here the virtual machines since the machine is recently created so it has some problem uh, so we need to wait for a couple of times and then you know then automatically it should be uh, you know it should be showing the possible updates here so while we are waiting one more um, input is make sure that your machine under azure update manager should not have any kind of warning here uh, so everything should be clean if it, there is a warning, you need to fix it, right? So generally one kind of warning is, you know, if you have selected that OS patch option, which I have enforced while creating a machine, uh, in that case, you might get this kind of warning here, here in the name, in front of name, you will have the square braces and with a warning currently it does not has, that's a, that's a very good sign that, you know, this machine will be scoped for my, you know, uh, patching by a uh, customer manager. If you see the patch orchestration, so here it is pointing to the customer managed schedule indeed so the associated schedule is this one which we have created for um, for you know for the uh, maintenance configuration that is windows patch right uh, so once that is been done um, if you see here go back to the virtual machine again and refresh it here uh, if you go to the uh, in the left hand side blades go to the operation blade here so under the operations blade um, you know, so there is a button called update one. And if you refresh it, it will automatically list out the, you know, the possible updates that can be applied on this machine. I'm expecting a couple of them for now. Uh, so after that, one more input that I would like to give is in the Azure update manager. So there should be one assessment should be happening. So in the update operation, there should be one assessment operation should be triggered now. So it will take some time. What I do is, you know, I'm going to go on a pause until uh, the assessment gets completed and patch also gets you know installed by the schedule all right now you see that for windows machine that we have created this now the update operation that is assessment has been done and uh, if you see here it has just now got invoked now we need to wait for actual patch installation that is install update operation will be invoked in a couple of minutes so um you know what are all the patches would be try to update it that is something you can find it from the virtual machine option so if you go to the virtual machine um, service page and go to the operations here and then the updates if you see that here are the two list of possible updates that can be installed on this uh, windows machine so now we are not doing anything manually we just mapped the resources 
are all right. So now we need to wait for a couple more, couple of more minutes, and then the patch installation will be automatically invoked by, uh, you know, the the configuration that we have done. Yeah. So if you see here, go back to the virtual machine, and uh, it is mapping to an associated schedule that is basically. Um, maintenance window so this is the maintenance configuration if you see here so that is what it is pointing to right so we need to wait for a couple of minutes now and it should be invoked so until it gets invoked and installed i will go on a pause and come back now you see that <clears throat> there is a maintenance window trigger has been started and that is done by you know the customer manage schedule so if you see here currently it is in progress and the operation is install updates and in the operations uh, type that is basically customer managed schedule that is the schedule which we have done in this demo right so the installation will take certain time and this is how basically you know the the automated patch management can be done on the uh, on the you know the azure virtual machines right so what happening is under the hood is basically it is listing out these are all the two possible updates that can be installed in this machine and uh, the try of installing these two updates are being performed from the azure update manager now i could tell you that you know there could be one would be installed and other would be failed but for now, this is how basically, you know, the under the hood, you're going to follow the steps and try to, uh, you know, the automate the patch management on the Windows, you know, machines on the Azure. All right. So with that note, you know, so um, I would like to conclude here, basically the maintenance run that we see here, right? So it would install one patch among that. Yeah, since this is something like you know unwanted installation that we are doing as part of the demo, but at a real time we do either critical patches or security patches will be installed, which would definitely go installed. All right, so this installation would take certain amount of time, and later it will go in this fashion. Okay, so once, uh, you know the once it gets installed, what I you know what I would like to show you finally is um. In this list one will go one name will go off the other one which will fail will be still listed here that's what i wanted to show you so what i do is you know, i'm gonna go on a final on a pause and we're gonna come back for kind of you know final show and conclusion so after waiting for more than like 10 to 15 minutes uh, the trigger maintenance run id if you see this one which i was showing you earlier so it got failed because we were targeting two patch to be installed, but in that one, one patch got installed and one patch got, you know, failed. So, so this video is not aimed to make sure that why it is got failed, but this video was aimed for making an automation of Windows patch installation on the Windows machine on the Azure, which has done good. Now, if I go back to the uh, Windows, uh, you know, virtual machine that pane that I was showing you, and if I refresh it here, now you see that earlier it was two now it is showing only one to be installed and uh, you know so that is what i wanted to show you finally so this is how you know you're gonna manage the automated patching in in azure cloud with using azure update manager service all right so with that note thank you very much for watching my videos kind request please do subscribe my channel that would really encourage me a lot with that note thank you thanks a lot and see you in the next video